everybody, how's it going? So today we're checking out the Two Notes Torpedo Captor X. Two Notes has definitely not been a stranger on this show. I've reviewed a bunch of stuff. In fact, one of the earliest gear reviews I ever did was for the Torpedo Live. Now, if you're a fan of the original Captor, you're gonna dig the Captor X. It's kind of the same deal, just with a couple extra features. First and foremost, it is stereo. We've got options when it comes to routing, which is really great. Of course, we've got the original mode here. <laughs> And that's simply great. If you want to crank a tube amp up and not bother your neighbors or or whatever, your spouse, if you live in an apartment, a dorm room, whatever, this is a wonderful desktop recording solution because it's a true hybrid system. You're still working in the analog realm on the input stage, but you're getting a digital speaker simulation and recording chain, which can also make life a whole lot easier when it comes to getting awesome tones. Now, this does have a very cool new feature, which is the twin track. Crank, crank that on, and suddenly we get stereo guitar. <laughs> now that's just all kinds of fun, and you see we get a tightness control here, and it, uh, it works by the space knob, and this just opens it up huge. But we can pull that back a little bit too, make it maybe just a little bit. Kind of find the threshold there, that's kind of fun. Let's try that right about there. So we got that, and then we've got, you know, an enhancer and a reverb, again, which I'm not really gonna use too much. But... Of course, the great thing is you can load up your own presets. So if you're gonna go play a gig with this thing and you wanna feed it into your into the PA or the, the venue's board or whatever, you know, you just set it up and just scroll through them. You That's kind of fun, and you can just swap through them some more. And it's great because, you know, you got the usual Two Notes amazing selection of cabinets, mics, and of course you can make all kinds of adjustments for whatever. Save it via the app, away you go. You can make, put it wherever you want, configure it however you want, and you can bring up six different presets if you're out in the field. That's really great. You don't have to hit a computer with it, but it's USB compatible, so, you know, if you've got a laptop, uh, you should be in business. Now, not only do we have the twin tracker, we also have dual mono, and this is where it gets interesting because we can do some cool shit here. That's a monitor, monitor EQ, we can turn that off. Here's our more raw sound. Now, this is where it gets interesting if we hit the bypass here. Sounds like ass, doesn't it? But this is important because what we've got on the left channel is an IR going. But on the right channel, the impulse response is bypassed. We're getting a raw feed. Now, this would come in handy, say, if you're at a gig and you wanted to record yourself, but you weren't sure about what cabinet you wanted to use after the fact. So you could send one channel to the board to go to the PA. There's your awesome tone. And the second channel can go to a recorder and you can throw a custom impulse response on it after the fact, and that could be a total lifesaver. Now I gotta say, one of my favorite features about the Torpedo remote software is the fact that the software itself is resizable. You can, you can just grab this and size it however you want. That is when it wants to, there we go. 
that's great. So if you're an old guy like me and you're starting to lose your vision or you're starting to lose the fine detail one night, you can just blow that up and it's like, hey, that's that's way easier. So that that's pretty awesome. Now, of course, one of my favorite features is the fact that I can just switch this over to number six here where I've got a preset with all the internal impulse responses turned off and I can use my own custom ones, which I've got a blend here from my own pack and uh, one of Trey Xavier's cabs as well. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool. The fact I can just record raw off this and load up whatever sound I want really works for my particular style. Dial that in however I want, maybe bring that back, maybe depth, let's take a look at it. Gotta say, yeah, this mud killer pedal is just really doing the trick here. Now, of course, this is just me noodling around. I'm not a professional musician. So for the full mix demo, I'm going to defer to Jackson Ward and John Suki. Let's hit it. <laughs> Now to do that mix, I reamped through the angry reamp from Signal Art. And this is my absolute favorite reamp box ever. It is absolutely freaking stellar. And like I said, no noise issues. Now I found that was the Achilles heel of the Mesa Cabclone IR was when you started to try to reamp with it, it just got noisy as hell, even when you started kicking in ground lifts. Not sure what the deal was there. I'm sure the horrible wiring in Los Angeles had a lot to do with it, but this, this was absolutely no added noise whatsoever. The proof is in the mix, of course. Now, the really great thing about the Captor X, besides the fact that it's two channels instead of one, like the Cabclone IR, this is 549, whereas the Cab Clone IR will set you back 599. So for $50 less, you get an extra channel and more options. How freaking cool is that? So that's the Two Notes Captor X, another killer piece of gear from my good friend Guillaume. The guy just builds great stuff. What can I say? I really dig this. Definitely not gonna let this one out of my hands because I think this is gonna be super useful and can definitely come in handy down the road. At certain times. As always, you can find links for everything in the description below. You can find it at Sweetwater as well as Toman, and you can download all kinds of Two Notes software from the Two Notes site. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because I still got a video coming out on the Mud Killer pedal if you want to check that out. That's definitely going to be worth taking a look at. And until next time, wash your hands, take care of each other, and I'll see you again real soon.